Ipakoyana, what word? What word do you have? What word, Abba Yahweh? As I was putting up this, uh, your countdown to the deadline time, for as your time as your Caleb, to confess and repent in public because of the war that he has done, he took to the public against me, against you, the Holy Trinity. As he added another to the Holy Trinity, a false goddess that's an insult even to the Holy Trinity. Chu meaning the component of urine. Oh, why, why, why? Ipoto de no hela mahi, si pa karen ko hena mahi la katana no koto. Oh, Abba Yahweh, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Sakayana nakata mokoya nakata. The name of Yushua Hamashiach to the blood of Yushua Hamashiach. Help me to help him. Please, Sakayana nakata mokoya nakata. This has been going on, Father, for. Over seven, well, no, it's seven months, but July 1st, it'll, 2019 is going to be eight months. And you have said that this ends right now. We will not take this into July 1st. There's going to be a new front page that everything has been dedicated and everything has been held off and every prophecy and even now father as i go and i see the countdown and the new animation that you have created to be able to entertain as well as inform this hardened end time generation and a wake-up call to my beloved you still have him in my holy tongues you still have his name and that'll be my sign when they're no longer there. You told me to battle for him. But after this, after this countdown, there'll be no more reminder of my love for him. There'll be no more reminder of the love a mighty wind congregation has poured out to him in video after video after video. We sinned against them also. Oh, Abba Yahweh, help me stir up that prophecy again. For you have a word for him. And you've just told me to do an interview that's going to be in another video during this time. Speaking to Caleb. O sokoyana mayana katana no kota bahaya. O sokoyana mayana nakatama kayana nakatama koto. O renda mokoya yana katama ki. A sahara koho bahi no ko. Come back, come back, come back. Sayana koya yana kata. Aya have o yana kata. Aya wish you a hamashiach. Sebakiele kata rina kata ma hana kata. Ay blue the rika kadesh. The yoyimaya. Soko soko yana nakata ma kiele kata. We grieve, we grieve, we grieve. Oh, there's your term. Oh, Ezra. Okay, love. Soko yana ma yana kata. Come back! So we are nakata. You are on the countdown of our patience now. So go yana nakata maki. Arena yana nakata. Bari, we love you. So we are nakata maki. Oh, we have given you time to repent. So we are nakata. For you have sinned greatly and you took it to the public. So go, so go yana nakata. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my, what you have done, what you have done, what you have done, my son. Why, oh why did you even go from an Orthodox Jew into a Sunday church? For even then you knew you did not honor my Shabbat. You knew the truth of the Shabbat. Sukosoko yana nakata makiele kata na yana nakata boyana nakata. 
あれなのやのなかたもこっちのなやのなかたパリのなかたりのなかたのろやなかたまきあさばちなのやのなかたもことおるのろやなかたまきあやのなかたもこっちのなやのなかたもことおるんなのやのなかたあれなやのなかたのろやなかたまき even Elijah Ministries Incorporated そこやのなかた I use that for one purpose やのなかたまきやのなかた so you would know the As I contacted you, Sokoyana Nakata, Nakata Makil Kata, to a mighty wind ministry, Sokoyana Nakata Makil Kata, Arena Katana Noena Kata Maki, Asa Yanan, I drew you to her, Sokoyana Nakata Makil Kata, and I used the video to do it, Sokoyana Nakata Makil Kata, in 2007, So in Nakata Maki, I gave this dream, and I will call you a little Shava, So in Nakata Maki, Eliyahu. And I brought her to you, Sokoyana Nakata Baki. But first, I had to clean you up, Sokoyana Nakata. I had to bring you to me, I, Yahushua Hamashiach, Sokoyana Nakata Maki. But you did not allow me, so you would not confess, Sokoyana Nakata, all that you have done. To me, so in Nakata, all that you have done, so in all the sins, so in Nakata, but in Nakata, all the debauchery, so in sins, so in so in Nakata, my killer Kata, oh, my son, my son, my son, so in Nakata, my kia, in Nakata, you did not even come out, so in Nakata, I in Nakata, in Nakata, in Nakata, in Nakata, of all the Orthodox Jewish beliefs that are not of I, Yahweh, or I. They are not of my living water of the Rock HaKadash. I brought you here for the new blood covenant, but you insisted on staying in the old blood covenant. When I even showed you my son, I, my name, Yahushua, is found. All over, not just in the Torah, but in every part, every part of the Holy Scriptures, which is called the Bible, even though it's in Greek, in the King James, in how many have received salvation, so in the as even words have been mistranslated, but I still bring souls to I, Yahushua, Hamashiach, so in Nakatamaki. Are you studied so many old books, so Koyana Nakatamaki? But you studied the devil's doctrines also, so in Nakata, the demon's doctrines. I warned you, I warned you, I warned you. With the very first prophecy in Israel, I warned you, do you not remember? Do you not remember? Do you not remember my Ezra? So koyana nakata ba kile kata arena ayan nakata mokoto. So koyana nakata maki arena ayan nakata mokoto koyana nakata maki. Do you not remember when you I said that you were like Jonah in the belly of the whale? Do you not remember when she did not? Speak forth her prophecy for three days. So in Nakata, she had one for you, but she knew it would offend you, or she felt it would offend you. So Koyana Nakata Maki, Arani Nakata Mokoto, So Koyana Nakata Maki, Sayana Nakata, Koyana Kata, Ayana Kata. She held back even speaking in tongues, for she feared she'd lose your love if she offended you. So Koyana Nakata, finally you prayed for her. Do you remember this, Ezra? 
And you said, Elisheva, just tell me with the words that Abba Yahweh has me to hear. So in an akata makila kata, ayan akata no noyan akata makila kata no noyan akata. I unseal your lips, so koyana nakata makila kata. And it was on the third day, so koyana nakata makila kata no yanakata. Of the conviction for her for censoring me, so koyana kata, in fear of offending you, so koyana nakata makila kata, so anakata. In fear of losing your love, and yet look what happened. Look how short of amount of years from the time of 2016 into the time of 2018 when you wanted to cover your ears and you did. You no longer wanted to hear any words to come back, so in an akata. She saw you slipping away, so in an akata. She saw you feeding after the, no, running after the lies and feeding off of the poison, so in an akata, in an akata. For poison was given to you to poison your soul, so in an akata. For you were not decreasing, you were increasing, so in an akata. You never gave I, Yahushua, the glory anymore. Instead, you wanted to steal my glory. For that's what these serpents of Satan are telling you. So koyana nakata, makela kata, orena kata. Who are no, no, and no, they no longer. So in nakata are the spiritual children you once know. If you could just see and rip the mask off of them. So koyana nakata, you will see that fallen angels have entered into each and every one of them. So koyana and they enter into every reprobate soul. So koyana nakata maki, arenye nakata nanoya nakata maki, asa koyana, oh, so koyana, imo koyana, imo koyana, imo koyana, come out! So koyana nakata maki, lakata nanoya nakata maki, lakata, come out from among them. So koyana nakata, rebuke these lies, renounce these lies, come back, come back, come back. I will leave my 99 sheep, but I'm coming for my one little lost lamb right now. Do you remember? Do you remember the resyotum? Sukoyana nakata mai. To remember, remember, remember. Sukoyana nakata maki. Do you remember? Sukoyana nakata. When you went into Sukoyana nakata mai, yana nakata, yana nakata, mokoyana nakata, yana nakata, orani yana nakata, makila kata, yana nakata, yana nakata. Oh, so koyana nakata, nakata, oh, nakata, a place that was like unto a farm, and do you remember all the sheep? So koyana nakata, do you remember? So nakata, but you did not go where the all the sheep were. So koyana gather together. So koyana, do you remember? Remember? Remember what Satan tries to take your mind and use like an eraser and erase it, even the very love that you have for your very soulmate. So koyana, they try to pluck it out. I'm calling you out. So nakata maya, Christina Gunther. So koyana nakata, shang ya poo. So nakata ba kela kata no ya nakata ma kela kata no ya nakata. Tatiana Williams. Stephen William Rossi, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, Makila Kata, No Yana Kata, Makila Kata, Or Namayana Nakata, Ricky Williams, Soko Soko Yana Nakata, Makila Kata, No Yana Kata, Jason Ben, Soko Yana Nakata, Makila Kata, No Yana Kata, Makila Kata, No Yana Kata, Or Namayana Nakata, No Yana Kata, Yana Nakata, Moko Yana Nakata, Maki, Soko Yana Nakata, Makila Kata, Yana Nakata, Moko, Yana Nakata, Moko. I've had enough. So in the the visions that you have fed him. So the dreams that did not come from heaven. So he did not go towards that. So in the the flock of the sheep. So do you remember her as Yotam? Come back, come back to Yahushua Mashiach. Come back into my loving arms. So you took a vow of celibacy. 
do you remember how much you love me? So, do you remember how you gave up all the money? So, nakata, you had house burns. So, nakata, Satan was so angry. So, nakata, nakata. Remember, remember, remember the price that you paid so, nakata, to preach my gospel. So, nakata, nakata. Even into Israel. So, nakata, makila, come back, come back. Don't you remember, Sanana? I did not have you go to the flock of sheep that you saw. So it's so fluffy and white and friendly. So all together. So Koyana Nakatama. No, remember, remember, come back, come back. I'm calling you back. So Nakata, my Reziotam, come back. Come on, my son. You can do it. Come on. I know you're crawling on your hands and knees and you're afraid to look up at me, but I am Yoshua Hamashiach. I'm the same one that was there when you gave your life and soul to me before. I'm still standing there. I'm still waiting for you. And don't you remember even in the very sign I now re remind you of, you did not go to the flock of the beautiful white fluffy sheep, so Koyanakata. You saw one from afar off that was rejected and alone, Sukoyanakata Maki. And that's the one that you went after. And you held it in your arms. Come on, come on, my son. I want you to remember that what Satan wants you to forget. So when look at my love, my love, my love and mercy, my blood, my blood, my blood. Yamai Yahusha Mashiach want to cleanse you. I want to wash you clean, my little black. Black sheep, so in my little no, 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 you're not a sheep. You're the tiniest of the lamb now. You're a little tiny black lamb. But you went after that one little white sheep that was so rejected and for forsaken, and the other flock did not want any part of it. You went there and you picked up that little white sheep and you held it in your arms and you put it close to your face and Elisheva was given a picture of it and the moment she saw it her love overflowed for you do you remember i'm forcing you to remember you're not god and you're not any form of a god you have to come back I'm leave the 99 and for seven months straight my focus has been on that one that walked and ran away tears come down my cheeks as they come down Elisheva's now those are my tears oh I wish I was I plead with you my blood was shed for you. Ares Yotam, my Ezra, you are my Caleb. Come back to the only good shepherd. There is no salvation except to my name and my blood. Oh, my son, what you have done! What you have done and what the Holy Trinity, the one you called your holy family, the one that you and Elisheva, have, as she taught you, she mentored you. And she said, as much as we love one another in every public dedication of love we have to always teach that our love cannot compare for one another always 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 it has to be Abba Yahweh Yahushua and the Rakadash has to always come before any love that we have for one another she taught you this she mentored you. You did not want to learn from a woman. And the first question she asked you, Ezra, would you learn from a, a woman? 
You did not answer, my son. The demons inside you would not let you answer that question, knowing that it would lead you to hell. I'm calling you back to the same woman. Instead, they mocked through your mouth, and they said, Elisheva, would you learn from a man? Oh, my son, humble yourself. Walk in the humility of your mind, your body, your spirit, and your soul. Lower yourself! When you hear this word, you will run, you will flee from the evil that surrounds you. Yes, I say unto you, you have been bitten by serpents of Satan. They have injected poison in you and it was a plan of the devil all along. When you met them, they were spiritual children and they were spiritual children of Elisheva. But you should have realized what was going on as they fed you these visions, these lies. And I have not even named all of their names. I can't even, I can't even go on with the names. But why should I? You know every name that has built you up to be a god. You know every name that even wanted to call you Dad Moshe. And now well, you think you're a Mordecai of New? I will show you a Mordecai of New. Fall on your face before me. Fall on your face before me. You're no Mordecai of New. You are just one toe away from blasphemy i have warned you through the lips of the woman that you have rejected you have forsaken and I, yet i still have you in her soul and i'm not going to let go do you hear me i'm not going to let go until you publicly say you want me to i have you in her holy tongues she will know the sign when they're no longer there. I had her do a heartfelt interview. Six hours worth. Why? Nearly six hours. One more time. She had to speak forth for I gave her the words and she just wants to hear you say. Just tell me no. No, Ezra, just tell me no. You did not really allow this. Just tell this world, everyone who's listening, everyone who's watching, and I tell you this, there's millions that have been watching. Millions in different languages. They've taken the words that have been written on the pages. Did you forget this is in 50 different languages? You wanted to be famous? Look what Satan has done. Look at the testimony. When I put you together with Elisheva Eliyahu, her name, her name is clean before me. It doesn't matter how many try to throw the dung at her. They are of Satan. They are full of hate. Where was your wake-up call when those surrounding you now and even those who left, they're still full of hate. They're not human. Yes, they have the form of a human. And they still have a human soul. But fallen angels rule their thinking now. Only out for one thing. The death of Elisheva Eliyahu. And you have gone right along with it. The lying. Prophecy. Don't you remember? In Israel. When you said to Elisheva. Again and again, 
I'm afraid of the name prophet. I don't want to be called a prophet. For if I false prophesy, I have made Yahweh a liar. No, you didn't make me a liar. You made yourself a liar! And now you must repent. My darling son, false prophets were all over Israel. So are my Jew. But you'll never carry the name prophet as a title anymore. That one lying prophecy. That the fallen angels surrounding you made sure it was spread far and wild. Far and wide. Copied and pasted. Even in forums. Elisheva warned you. Ah, Yahweh spoke through her. March 30th, 2019, even before there was an April 19th, 2019. I, Yahweh, am the first to say, don't do this. Don't believe this. And I already told you, you were not going to get away with the excuse. I, Yahweh, warned you. I prophesied to her lips, and you know no lies have come forth out of her lips, and yet that's all you want to swallow from the father of all lies. I warned you. I, Yahweh, the heavenly creator, along with the co-creators, the Ruach HaKadosh, my precious, precious, precious Shekinah glory, warned you, your Emaya, and I, Yahushua HaMashiach, warned you through her lips, don't do this. What you have prophesied about the three days and nights the darkness coming on the Passover of 2019, and I told you, you will not be able to say it goes into the Feast of the Unleavened Bread. I warned you that even the lies that you would say in advance, Ayahveh! The God of creation warned you it is before everyone in public. Spoke in a voice like I am now. Huh. And when I shout, I'm using just her vocal cords. That's why Satan earlier tried to take her voice. Because he knew I was going to prophesy through her. She didn't believe that there would be any more prophecies for you. But you see, you'll have no excuse not to listen. Listen to the deadly calm voice right now. Remember? Remember Eliyahu? Remember? And I speak of the one that is now the old in the scriptures. He wanted to hear my voice. In fear he had ran. Far away. This is a deadly calm voice when he finally heard me. This is a whisper. And he ran back where he came from. You run back 
you run back where you came from. You run back before you ever met any of them you now call your spiritual children. Run away from them and run back into my arms. Run back into I Yahweh. Run back into Yahushua Hamashiach. And run back into Yerimaya, the precious, my precious Shekinah glory, the very presence of the Shekinah glory. Do you remember? Run back into our arms again. You have not been in heaven. I have not coronated you. You are not the king of Israel. And no one in this world is going to fall down and exalt you. What is wrong with you? Not even the excuse that the devil tried to do of controlling your mind with all the various powers of the occult. You dare to give rings with stolen offerings and tithes and dare huh, to say they have power in them, they have occult power in them. Oh, you didn't say the word occult, but that's what it was all about. Adam and Todd, I call you out just because you think I didn't mention your name. You are filth, you are filth, you are dung. Every one of you are the serpent's tongue, and you will die with spontaneous combustion. I, Yahweh, speak this, and I had better. Oh, Marika. Oh, Sabaria cut everyone, everyone who has worshipped him, everyone, everyone who has led my little black lamb. Oh, my, 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 Wife of the devil and the wife of the Antichrist. You call her the fornicator of the beast. You call coma on earth. You call plague on earth. I call for death and destruction. I lift my rod, the rod of Yahweh's wrath upon you, and I Yahushua Mashiach, lift my rod of wrath upon you, and I Yimaya the Real Kakadesh, lift my rod of wrath upon you. You can't run, you can't hide, you will beg for a mountain to fall on you. You souls that are in these that I have named, and even those I have not named. And he's young brown, so of Australia. And Darnell Clark, and Armando Garcia, Scott Cameron, Go run, Sukhira Katamaki. I use this ministry money, Sukhira Nakata, Arir Kata, to pay for your surgery. Go run, Sukhira. I am the one, Sukhira Kata, Bakila Kata, Arir Kata. As Elisheva was told by Ezra, Sukhira Nakata, of the spinal surgery you needed, Sukhira Nakata, to put it upon her heart, Sukhira Nakata, to pay for the Surgery, Sadakata, Arena Katanoel, and you dare call death upon her! Sukoyana Katabayan to agree with all of this, Sadakata, to worship a mere man, you are. You are doomed, you are doomed, you are doomed, you are doomed. I will personally take that human spine and I will twist it like a pretzel. 
I, Yahweh, will twist it like a pretzel on everything you think was done. And now the pain of that human frame. Oh, the agony you shall feel. And you, Tatiana Williams. It doesn't matter whether fallen angels are within you. It matters the fact that fallen angels are in a human body. What I'm going to do to your feet. The feet! That we're supposed to be once preaching the gospel. What I'm going to do to your feet and your legs. You call her a Jezebel? You call her a whore of Babylon? You call her a voodoo queen? Oh, Tatiana Williams. Tatiana Harvey Williams. You're such a mess. You don't even know. But the soul will hear this. And the soul's next home for all of you. That I have ne left named and nameless for you know who you are. You know the ones who have given him money. You know who each and every one of you are. You know the ones who have led him astray. My little lost black lamb, a baby, just a baby. Oh, I know, I know. You don't like this address, Yotam. Who, me, a baby? No, no, no. I have the fullness of the Torah. What? What? Wait, wait, wait. What? Uh, come closer. I, Yahushua HaMashiach, am the only fullness of the Torah. I am the word that was written from the beginning of time. What? Tell me again. Come closer. Come closer. Come closer. Come on. You want to hear what I'm going to say next? You are not there at the beginning of creation! And Adam and Eve has nothing to do with you other than you came forth out of their form and where the beginning of creation started on this earth. You do not have my DNA. How dare you believe such a lie? And how dare you believe that you are filled full of gems from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet? How dare you believe that the whole village acknowledged that you were such a special child when you were born? To compare yourself to I, Yahushua HaMashiach. Do you see? Do you see? Do you understand why you have been bitten by the serpent himself? What was the first lie? What was the first lie that was told to Eve? Go eat of that tree of good and evil. You will have all knowledge. You will be a god. You. You swallowed the very first lie. You do not have to eat of the tree of evil. You are not to have knowledge of the evil except to rebuke it in the eye of Yahushua HaMashiach's name, through my name and through my blood. That is the only way. And submit yourself means obey I, Yahushua HaMashiach. And then you have the authority to resist the devil and he shall flee. But how few of you even, even do what is written in the scripture? Come back. I'm going after you. I've left the 99. Elisheva has done nothing but I have allowed her to do, and that is to do. Prophecy is calling you back. Erez Yotam, Ezra, my Caleb. Just as you did, you went after that forsaken, lost little lamb. I'm scooping you up in my arms right now. I have you. By Ayahushua's face, just like in that picture that she has of you. 
I was already putting it in your spirit. I am the one who told you, do not go where the flock of the sheep are. You go for the little one over there that nobody wanted. Rejected, lonely. That's the one that I had you have the eye on. And when Elisheva saw that picture, when she was going through such devastation, after you first met, she looked at that picture and without ever even knowing where I was going, what I was going to do with both of your lives, she said, I want to be that little lamb. I want to be in your arms. I want to be close to your face. I want to feel your love like that. Ezra, I put those words, I put those words, the Holy Trinity put those words in her mouth, in her head, when there was no trust for a man at all that was left. Look what you've done. Look what you've done, my son. She's my bride. I am Yahushua. She's my bride. I trusted you as my bride. I trusted you. You didn't just betray her. You betrayed I, Yahushua HaMashiach, and all the Holy Trinity. We knew what you would do. We tried to warn you. Was not the three months before you sinned against the marriage covenant ring? But I warned you, she would prophesy again and again and again, and she knew not why. And I would tell you, Elisheva has not been fired and she has not retired. She is still the co-leader of this ministry. Did you think I did not see you? Did you think that I, Yahweh, and Yahushua, and Emea are blind? Did you think? Did you think that we are deaf? You who dare call yourself the head of this ministry? You who thought you could abuse the power of a husband? Why aren't you listening? Why? I tried. We tried. We spoke prophecies and told you. Pray with her. What has changed? Why won't you worship with her? Why won't you pray with her? Have I not always given you a prophecy to put in the public after you worship with her? And what did you do? Words straight from hell you spoke. Why did you do it? Because the serpents over there, the reptilians over there, the fallen angels that surround you, stop looking at them as innocents. Oh, they're so innocent. They're not innocent. They have taken my son and they're trying to take you where their next home is. Hell and the lake of fire. They're the ones that divided this marriage. Oh, they tried to give you words and say that you would be Elisheva and you would be with Elisheva and you would be before the crystal sea and dancing on it. They tried because they thought that they could say, you see, Dad, 
I'm not against mom. Then they threw in all the rest. How oh, you're going to be sitting next to the throne of I, Yahushua Mashiach. And they threw in all the rest. But she could not be in the picture anymore. They had to kill her because if they did not succeed in killing her and dividing you, they never could have got a hold of your mind and manipulated it and molded it into the clay like Satan wanted it. So you could become one of them. And a fallen angel could have entered into your soul. And they tell you, it's all written down in public. You better be grateful that that website is down. That's the only reason that you're a, still a toe away from blasphemy or you would have just crossed over the line of no return. You better be grateful that those videos are down on that YouTube channel. And Donovan Todd, you better take it all down for there's nothing holy about your, the social media that you're on. And Adriel Brown from Australia, you're their poster child now. None of them want to show their face. For they know that the human body's been disgraced. But you're just stupid enough. To show your own face. When they're on a terror list and now yours is too. You've been bit by the serpent's poison, the reptilian, the fallen angel, who literally mocked me, Ayoshua. Picture a banquet table with nothing but poisoned food on it. And then picture the true bride of Yushua's banquet table that you had before when you were with the, your wife, Elisheva Eliyahu, when you were ministering by her side and truly praying over everything. Now look at you. Look where you're at. You ate off of Satan's table. You believe. I also grieve that you would even compare yourself to me, the co-creator of the universe, of all that there ever was or ever will be. And they tell you that you are second to I, Yahushua Hamashiach. Oh my, how far you fell. Do you not see everyone who will hear this? Pride goes to before a great, great fall. This man that you behold now was with Elisheva and is in a prophecy. We, the Holy Trinity, had just said he reached 100% and she had been there. Does this mean that Elisheva was perfect or that he was perfect? No! But he finally reached the level to where he was found pleasing the Ay Yahweh, Ay Yahushua, and Ay Yimaya, the Rakh HaKadosh. Oh, but that all had to come to a crashing end. Christina Gunther had to make sure of that. Necromancy came in. And you believed it, and yet you know it goes against all that you have been taught in the Torah. She started seeing what she said were children. And you believed the lies. 
and the abortions that Tatiana Williams had from sex, from strangers, for only for money. You whore. You are the whore. You will pay such a price. Your human soul knows and trembles where you're going. And the fallen angels, they all mock you. They all mock you. They remind you of the love that Elisheva had for you. They remind you and they torment you. And even in the words that you wrote, the soul was writing to you that those words. As you say that she rejected her children. She was your mother and she rejected you. And now she must die for it. And death and destruction in every way that you could call it down on her. You prayed. Nearly nonstop. Shut her up. Shut her up. She's not going to prophesy anymore. Shut her up. Coma upon her. Three years. Six years. What? One coma wasn't enough to kill? Your false goddess of urine? And Ezra, what's wrong with you? When you found out the true meaning of the word, why didn't you repent even then? Why did you continue on? I, the creator of your soul, ask you this question. Why? Sabakira koyama yana kato no no koto barira kahara na uso pati na na yana na kato mo kore na kato maki asaren na na yana na kato mo surrender 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 so ko yana na kato raziotam so ko yana na kato my Ezra my Caleb surrender so ko yana na kato you were on the countdown of Ayahave and Ayahushua and Ayima Yarra Kagadesh's patience now so there's a countdown to a deadline so ko yana na kato my Caleb kato I now have told the Shava to put on the ministry site so that for all to see so that in all the languages so that, that have already copied it so come July 1st so that, 2019 so that, come July 1st so that, there's no way she can erase the three years so that, for I'm going to keep her so busy with the new prophecies coming forth and the new revelations coming forth I'm getting her back defeating the sheep and the lambs Again with the new words from heaven, so kata the new revelation, so nakata makiela kata. I have devoted all this time, and I've told her to devote all this time to go after the one that wandered away. Now it's your choice how quickly you want to come back. It's your choice, nakata But don't wait too long because now you are on the countdown of I and the Holy Trinity's patience. Patience. It's not a good place to be. Nobody had better ask for it. Where are Rez, Yotam, my Ezra, my Caleb? It's not a good place to be. Does not the word say, do not test the Lord thy God? Yahweh. And that means Yahushua and the Ruach HaKadosh. Does not the word, the Holy Scriptures say, Grieve not the Holy Spirit, my Ruach HaKadosh. You have been grieving, grieving her. You, you have been grieving everyone who has been calling out, calling out. You have been grieving, grieving the Ruach HaKadosh. Do you not think that we cry? First we cry and then we get angry. Come back to the true banquet table set for you. Do not be one who thinks they are and is a counterfeit bride. Fall on your face. 
Remember these prophecies you inscribed with your own hand? Remember when you called them, they were treasures, they were jewels? Well, even the fallen angels know that they came from heaven, and that's why they want to copy and mock it. Just little sentences here and there, and even in your lion prophecy, what did you do? Hide yourself, my children, for a little while. You just had to take something out of something that was genuine, so the anointing in it would confuse the people. King of the elements. Really? King of the elements? Come here. Come on. I, Yahweh, the creator of all saints, you are not the king of the elements, and you're certainly not a king of a planet. And all the rest of you, you fuck, they're admitting, don't you get it? Don't you get it, my son? The fallen angels are telling you that they are fallen stars. Only they call themselves the 14 planets that surround you. They guard you. They guard you to make sure they don't come back to I, Yahushua, Mashiach. They guard you to make sure your mind and your body and your spirit, your soul, does not come back to the truth. You know that is in a mighty wind ministry. You know that I use Elishav Yahu to speak forth that truth. You of all know what a holy and righteous and a virtuous woman she is in me. You of all people know who the dream maiden is. You defiled that holy marriage covenant ring. She had to get out. She wasn't allowed to even know. No one should have told her, but Jason Ben, he had sent that video. On the second day of Hanukkah, you defile my That sacred holy feast of a time when the temple is to be rededicated and you are to remember it but you don't remember it in the new blood covenant i yahushua hamashiach i am the only one who could purify anyone through the shed blood and the agony and the torture as my blood flowed out i am the only one who is the exodus for anyone who accepts that blood that I shed, that I shed all over Israel's soil and is still there calling forth the Jewish people who yelled, crucify him. It is you and Elisheva I put together to be the Judah and the Ephraim. It is your testimony, testimony now for all the sins that you have done like unto Israel and the demon of the Pharisee and the demon of idolatry, the demon of exaltation, the demon of a narcissist and a sociopath and a psychopath. For the things that you have done, you need deliverance, my son. And I, Yahushua Mashiach, promise you, you walk in humility again. You be that man when you put the butterfly wings together of Elisheva. And I gave you the anointing to do it. I used the, the surgeon's hand. Over 1,000 prophecies I spoke forth, and you were the one who encouraged her in Israel. You were the one that suffered two heat strokes and how many forms of sickness came upon your body as you were like unto a Johnny Appleseed that I called you. The very first time she prophesied for you. And there's not even a copy of the written word. And you took those seeds those books, and spread them as far as you could in Israel. In Jerusalem, you took them to the prayer tower in Jerusalem, where people from India who truly worship Ayoshua were there. It is I 
that told you to hand those books to them. Do you remember? Do you remember, Ezra? Do you remember how Elisheva was on top of the feet? Wherever you walked, I, Yahushua, was with you as you walked on top of my footprints. You would hand those books out. Secrets of the Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit books out. That took seven years to even do the research for she never had anyone tell her before until it was spoken forth out of her mouth in whose image Eve was made out of. You're the one that told her what Ima means. Do you remember how the precious Imaya, the Ruach HaKadosh, remember what she seen, the vision of her embracing you in her fiery wings as she spoke it forth to you? And she now understands where the Ruach HaKadosh fire is more than an anointing. It is who the Ruach HaKadosh is. And the fire within the wings, and they enveloped your whole body as she hugged you. The Ruach HaKadosh hugged you. And you said that you felt the heat all the way from your head to your feet. Compare yourself in the mirror. After you hear this, look in the mirror. And then go look at the video of two anointings became one. Go look in the mirror. I command you. Erez Yotam. Ezra Caleb. Behold the man in the mirror now. Behold the man in the mirror. When you look at the videos of what Elisheva Eliyahu has, the memories of what she thinks that she has to say goodbye to for the man hasn't been resurrected named Caleb. Even he is just a little Caleb. Listen to the dreams of the little children that I raised up each and every day nearly because I told Elisheva out of the mouth the babes I shall speak when her faith no longer each and every day she had to say Oh, Yahushua, help me. I know without faith it's impossible to please you, but can this man really become the new Caleb? For the old Caleb had allowed all of this. And you owe her a vindication with the Yotam family after you have done all of this. You and her. Will speak. First, you're going to speak to them. You're going to admit that you lied. And you're going to send them a copy of you in that video repenting before the world. And you will mention the Yotam family, especially Israela, your sister, and especially the mother who gave birth to you that you have brought such shame to. You have brought such shame to the Yotam name. Strangers cannot even get a job because they're a Yotam. And they do not understand that Elisheva has reached Israel in a new way. You will repent. You will fall on your face. And if you do not start counting down the days of how long you will be on this earth. And that's what the fallen angels and Satan is counting on. They will prevent you from saying a salvation prayer for confession is made on a salvation and because you did this in the public, you have to publicly vindicate your wife, vindicate the ministry, and vindicate the name of Yotam. Shame. But you see, before you thought so cockily, <laughs> 
Hakke, can't say the word. <laughs> um, what's another word, Abba? Yeah. So egotistical. So smug. There's so many arrest yotams in the search engine. No one would ever find me. <laughs> yeah, they laugh at you. Now the first thing they see is a toe away from blasphemy. And they're saying, egotistical maniac, who wrote this? And they're coming to a mighty wind that come to find out what is going on. Who is causing the Yotam name such shame? And then they see who it is. A man they never saw. A man they do not know. But they have come face to face with Yahushua HaMashiach in this bit of cyberspace. <laughs> They have no excuse. And all of them, all of them, all of them, they have beheld the testimony of I, Yahushua HaMashiach, where they were just nothing more than Orthodox Jews. And now all they want and they have to cover their face in shame is to know how to get a hold of you to bait you into the ground. They don't even know you, but if they did, oh, what a beating you got coming. And the Yotam family? And even your father, Shalom. What you have done to that name? No one has done this. But they say... They will cover you because you're a Yotam. Not one of them, even when they have the email address like Israel does, not even when they beheld the evidence of the sins that you have done, they don't care that you go to hell. They only care about the Yotam name. And making sure that you know you're still one of them. No matter what you do, it doesn't matter. They'll still financially support you. They'll still be your brother. They'll still be, you'll still be their son. You'll still be that uncle. I don't need to go on. Ayushua. Compel you to come back into my arms. I'm chasing after you. There'll be no more prophecy after this. You will either obey or you'll continue to disobey. You will either command them all out of your presence. The fallen angels do want to kill you. Jason Ben put the burning of the cross right there. You still even have the cross. You saw the cross behind the couch. They mocked her because they knew what they intended to do with you. A man-size ugly cross when I've only given you the anointing of love, those things of beauty. <sighs> you frustrate us. What? Do you think the creators of the universe cannot get frustrated and disappointed? You allowed death to be called on her in the name of the Holy Trinity? You taught and you believed? Every serpent's lie. Quad? Now you're a Mormon? What are you? Where is all this coming from? There is no goddess here, Raya. What is, what is wrong? Go and look, go and compare who you were in the videos before it comes down. They tried to take your mind like an eraser. Remember the dream of the hospital. Remember the eye drops. Your third eye is open and I, Yahushua HaMashiach, with my blood, can only close it. 
You have never been to heaven. You've been to the only the heaven that Satan has given you. You have beheld visions, literally visions, that were given to you from Satan. Each and every one of them have one goal in mind. Anyone, 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 do you hear me? Do I need to say more anyone's? Who have supported you in these lies. Who have fed you these lies. Who have not rebuked you and told you. Repent quickly to Elisheva. Repent quickly, quickly, quickly. Tell her you want to make this video. Tell her I am so sorry. Tell me how to say I'm sorry to the holy creators of all the universe, of the true holy trinity. How do I ever make this up to you, Elisheva? How do I ever make this up? How do I ever say I'm sorry enough? As you see, even the little children cry out to you. They are in mourning and they are in grief. Do not even think it's only because of you. It's because the two that I have joined together and I said the two anointings had become one. Your anointings complemented one another. You must decrease and lift up the only one on the face of this earth who has a testimony of Ayahu Mashiach. What? What is it that I hear? And you believe it? That you do not want a testimony as unto Enoch? To merely be pleasing unto Ayahweh? Instead, you want the testimony and you believe you have it of Ayahushua? Okay, you think that you are perfect now. You have been told that you are perfect. You have been told that Ezra, you cannot sin. You are perfect. You can sin. Oh, what Elisheva would say is a sin. But no, you're God. You're God. And gods cannot sin. They can do anything they want. It's not a sin. And you have committed dastardly sins in I, the, the creator of the universe's eyes. Oh, if I did not have a purpose for you, I would have destroyed you the first time you lied to Elisheva. The first lie. And in 2018, you were full of them. Something so simple as a horse, buying a horse. Where is the fear in you? Where is the fear of a Yahweh? In 2018, at the ending of it, before you left, you think you were punishing her in that silence? It's I. It's I, Yahweh, and Yahushua, and the Rak HaKadash that divided you. I would not allow you to manipulate her anymore with your lies. I was going to show her what you were doing behind her back. Teaching the Kabbalah. Teaching the doctrines of devils and demons. I wasn't going to allow it anymore. I wasn't going to allow it. She's my bride. She's holy. She lives her life for one purpose. And it's for I, Yahushua Mashiach, that she will preach the gospel of the new blood covenant to lead souls to the kingdom of heaven. Where have you been for these seven months? And where were you in the year of 2018? We're only there for a short while. In the summertime, in the summertime, in the summertime, they got a hold of your mind. And that Christina Gunther, she laughed at you. She said, run, 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 Dad. You're surrounded by all the governments watching you. Run and hide, Dad. Run and hide. Don't listen to your wife. Don't listen to Elisheva. I am the one who sees things. Oh, yes, you are, because you have the eyes of the serpent. 
or the ways that you are going to suffer. You have now all earned your own way to the level of hell which you're going to descend for what you've done to this man. You forget that I gave him as a husband to Elisheva. She wasn't going to give up until I told her to give up. You underrested him and aided the man's love for her. The one that I said for eons and eons has loved her. You underestimated Yahweh, Yahushua, and the Ruach HaKadosh. You fallen angels have gone too far, and now you will suffer. Oh, yes, you will. You will not just go into another human like you think. Ah, Yahweh, I'm about to destroy you. I am going to destroy you. When the human bodies physically die, and they will very shortly, I, Yahweh, have decreed it this day. Cheng Yapu, you, you, you dare give the description of what you want to do for a blood sacrifice of him? And he is so full of stupidity with no discernment at all that he even allows it. How you describe what the fallen angels describe. Do you listen, Erezotum? Do you listen, Ezra? Do you listen, Caleb? Because this prophecy is going to your Yotam family. That's, how, that's part of your repentance. That's part of your judgment. You allowed it. You allowed even an image to be put behind what looked like a waterfall. And you looked like you'd already been gutted. And you looked like one of those pharaohs in a tomb as even your hands were crossed. They put an image of death on you because this is what they want to do to you. They want to embalm you. What part of stupidity don't you understand, there is your dumb? This is the last I will ever speak like this again. It didn't, you didn't get the message with a toe away from blasphemy. You didn't get the message when the lying prophecy did not come true. You never once repented when you know what happens to false prophets. You know what the last words you told Elisheva before they succeeded and mold in your mind to make it look like theirs. Picture clay. You've been squashed. And what didn't come from the satellite beam to your brain, they managed to do the rest. All the different forms of the occult. Aquaman, he's already told you he's a marine spirit. He already told you what kind of, of occult powers he's using, marine magic. Why do you think Shanya Poo is called Queen of the Space? She's bragging she's a fallen angel. That's why they want to be of the 14 planets. Why do you think the 22 thrones and our Yahushua is not even in that image when you know it's really only the Trinity? Did not Enoch warn of the 22 fallen angels? You who study Enoch, the books of Enoch 1 and 2, and did not Elisheva Eliyahu tell you? This Enoch 3 is of Satan, and I do not receive it, although you tried and you read it again and again. Elisheva, why won't you just get it? Because I erased it from her mind every time you spoke it forth. I already gave a validation of what is written in Enoch books 1 and 2. It is truly holy. Enoch 3, I've already said, is of the devil. But would you listen? No, you argued. And you taught it behind her back. And this is why you are where you are right now. When she warned you about necromancy, when she told you those are demon children, those are Satan's 
lies. No child is going to come from heaven to come to a Shabbat service and you're there calling them down and giving them name even of your own mother that gave birth to you. And you couldn't even see when Elisheva warned you when you said, no, Elisheva, you are wrong. I had one child sitting on one knee and I had another child sitting on my other knee and I was driving. with the women in there? Who are the fallen angels? Oh, what they've done to your mind. Those three is all it took. First it was two back in one, and it was Christina Gunther who never came back to the fear of Yahweh when she fornicated and lost all fear of Yahweh with James. Elisheva is the one who said, flee all appearance of evil, for I have taught her that well. Christina Gunther on her birthday twisted your mind because she knew she could. She already had you believing her occult powers were coming from heaven. And they, she still tries. This prophecy will either set you free or you're going to hell. Your body will die. You've got a choice. But you will go to hell. It doesn't matter what, who you were up there in heaven, and it doesn't matter that you've been with her in eons, and it doesn't matter that you in, that you accepted the job to do a mission on this earth with her. doesn't matter. None of that matters. It matters what happened when you were born on this earth. Will you serve the one who says that he is the God of this earth, rules this earth, until I, Yahushua, come and claim it back? This is the way it is. Look at the governments of this world. They are not for the people. They're against the people. They are not for the people to live. They're for the people to die. They are not. The governments of this world want to take every soul to hell. And you have a choice. From the moment that you were born, because whatever decision you made up there in heaven, when Lucifer fought against the Holy Trinity, and it was not just Ayave's place that he wanted to claim. It was the all the co-creators, Yahushua and Imi Yad Ruach And souls had a choice. Whose side will they be on? It's no different than right now. This is why everyone works out their own salvation or fear and trembling. Their soul knows where they will go. If you fought on Ayave Yushua and the Rekakadesh side, then you will fight and you will battle and your soul will battle Satan on this earth. There are so many aborted babies that would have been apostles, that would have been prophets, that would have been pastors, that would have been teachers, and would have been evangelists preaching the gospel of Ayoshua. And you, and you, Ezra, you, you believe that you have the testimony and you want the testimony? That's what you said. I don't want the testimony of an Enoch. That means you don't want to find pleasing unto Yahweh. I want the testimony of Yahushua. You gave the devil permission to crucify you. You want to know why the burning cross on Jason Ben, why I raised my son Sylvester to do that video warning you, why I warned you even through the mouth of babies in dreams. As Elisheva fights for you to live, she doesn't only fight for your soul to wrestle it out of the hands of Satan and his serpents over there. She fights for your life and what kind of gratitude, what kind of love do you give back to the Almighty when ministry and back to your wife? You stay silent and you watch it all. 
And you are the one who led the slanderous and hate campaign against her. You are the one that took down the 2009 YouTube channel. You are the one who wanted to steal and tried to steal all of the work that I have done on this internet. And at that time, it was going on 25 years. You set it up. And you allowed Ricky Williams to say, should I take it now, Dad? No, wait. You are the one that will apologize, Caleb. You owe everyone in this ministry an apology. And you will give that, pro that apology. And everyone who's made a video, you're going to thank them. Every YDS, the one right now in the midst of the celebration that I sent three angels to, to, to proclaim the birth of Yahushua's demon stumpers on May 24th, 2019. And I said the celebration was to go on for 30 days. June 24th, 2019. But there's not been much celebrating. As Judas after Judas after Judas. But I already knew who would be a Judas. I already knew who was in the book of the blotted out. I already knew who only wears diaper salvation. You need to hear and you need to unblock, Gracie. I speak to you, Erez. This is a one-on-one -on -one prophecy. This is a this is a knockout punch that will either take you off your feet and you will go higher in anointing and higher in the, the repentance than you have ever been, and you will or you will be knocked with a punch from the Creator Himself that will knock you to the lowest pit of hell. And I already know what choice you will make. You are on the countdown of the creator of the universe and all the creators have ever was and ever will be the true heavenly holy trinity. How dare you defile our name? How dare you proclaim there's a fourth one to join with it and it is called the goddess of urine? Yarn, a component of yarn, and you still, still, still would not even apologize. You would not repent. You led people to that. Oh, but you know what? We have, we want to forgive you. I have made this now all public. I could continue what, what, what you have done. You allowed for the death of your wife to be called more than 12 hours a day. It was always, always in their mouths how you are going to go to heaven. And at one point they even said, you are going to call the plagues down like Moses did on Elisheva Eliyahu. And comas. For years. And then you'll come back from heaven and you'll take your wife because she's learned a lesson and go back to heaven again. Lies of the serpent! Lies of the devil! I'm giving you a vaccine today and it's in the form of a prophecy and it shall be the last one she ever speaks to you. And the con spiritual condition that you are in right now. The next prophecy I have is going to be, if you will receive these words of rebuke and understand that I chastise and I rebuke only those that I love the way that I have done to you. Even now I plead for your soul. I have given her a love that was greater than before. She wanted to hang on to her anger, her rage, her fury, her hatred. For the shame that you have brought. The name of a mighty wind ministry and her name. I would not allow it. That would not serve my purpose. 
Who would I prophesy to you and warn you? Who would I have to pour out true love from heaven on you? There is no one right now except coming from a mighty wind ministry. I had to make that love in her greater than any evil you have done and spoken and believed. She had no choice. I had to put the name of Caleb in her tongues. I had to keep you or hurt you in her soul when she tried to rip you out. She is not the one that puts you in her soul. She is not the one that puts you in her holy tongues. We, the creators of the whole universe, everything is and everything that ever will be. She belongs to us. Mind, body, spirit, and soul. She is the bride of Yusha Mashiach. She is our ring maiden. Where is the ring bearer now? You have handed out those rods as if they were candy, and you have given them into the hands of the serpents himself. You have given rings, and you have encouraged them to wear the rings that you have bought in articles of jewelry that belong to your own mother. And they use it every day to try to kill her and all in his in Mighty Wind Ministry, especially the workers who do the videos. I proved a false. I proved it a lie. Your goddess of Uranus. I am the one that causes her to mock. It's called it goddess of urine. Oh no, that's blasphemy. You will die. Really? Caleb, Caleb, come out of this. How dare you tell Sylvester when he visited you? How dare you tell him when he reminded you that you were a Caleb? When he reminded you, as you say it, took him on a hill and you said, see all of this? This shall be by sanctuaries. As far as you can see, you'll see cattle on the hills. Who do you think you are, Moses? No, you're not. You were to have a spirit like I know Moses because of one reason, and that's a Moshe. And that is because he knows how to repent. He cried and he wept and he mourned and he interceded. Had nothing to do about how wealthy he was. Had nothing to do with him as a leadership. I am not speaking of you in that way. Everything, everything, everything. Everything can be washed away that you've done. One drop, one drop. Although in your case, I'm going to plunge you under. And I use Shohamashiach. That blood will cleanse you. When you mocked me, and those fallen angels are the ones who gave you the, the idea, the serpents, I call them the serpents, and the tongues of the serpents built you up to make you think that if they kiss the wedding ring so they could mock it, they kiss the ring bearer ring so they could mock it and defile it, and make you think that it would purify anyone. How many of those humans that were still human at the time without no fallen angels immediately became a fallen angel? You said it would purify them. You said it would purify them. Put the ring to your lips. You believed you had the power. When you know only my blood that was shed at Calvary, you know only my blood is on a hill of Golatha. Don't worry, they'll get the message. You know. Was I, Yahushua Hamashiach, poured my blood out. I took the beating with the lashes of the whip that was literally Satan that 
filled the torturer who whipped me those 39 times. That blood was for you. I'm speaking one-on-one -on -one with you right now, Erez, Yota, Mezra, Caleb, and everyone else will just listen, will realize, man, I don't want to be in his shoes. I'm running back in the arms of Yoshua. I may not have known him before, but I know I don't want to be in Erez, Yota, Mezra, Caleb's shoes right now. I don't want to be on the countdown of the co-creators of the universe of everything that was and everything is to be for all eternity. I know there's only one. There's only one way to heaven and it's through the blood of Yushua Mashiach. I've read the Bible. I know the Holy Scripture. I know that there's no salvation. And even though I don't like living holy, and even though it's not popular in this world, and the true born again, Ruach HaKadosh, Holy Spirit filled, children, of Yahushua Mashiach, who some will hear this and still say the name of Jesus Christ. They will still fear when they hear this. And souls will come more than ever as they hear this, and I will use you, O man of Israel, born in Israel, to reach the other Erezotums who are coming to see what in the world is going on at this, at this internet channel. What in the world is going on with this internet website? What is this ministry going to do next? And what is Erez Yotam going to do to us next? Guess what? Huh. Some of them are going to run right into my arms. That's what's going to happen. This is all going to backfire on Satan. And just like you, they couldn't take the, all the love from you for the one that's Inside, she's inside your soul also. When other shadow goes looking for another man who can be the next Caleb, she looks for a man that looks like you. There's, oh, don't get me wrong. No one is indispensable. That's your problem. You thought at any time you could change your mind that you could come back on your own terms. I got news for you, and this is in my final warning. Don't mock me anymore. Yes, you've been mocking. But even thinking that you could have the testimony of Ayahushua, you'll have to be completely perfect, completely sinless, but had an immaculate conception from your mother, you will have to be the only begotten son of Yahweh. They're already mocking you. They can take anyone and nail him to a cross and set it on fire. Get out of there. Get out of there quickly. Run, run, run while you can. When you hear this prophecy, You are to forbid anyone to touch you, anyone to speak to you. They are going to fear you because they're going to hear this. And those fallen angels know who the co-creators of this whole universe and everything that is and everything that will be and everything that was. Fallen angels and even Satan himself listens. It's right now. See a great big hand. And you're like a little, little, tiny, tiny little speck right now. And I, the creators of all, lift you up and put you in our hand. And we put our hand out to you once again, and the hand is Yahushua Hamashiach. 
come back. Come back and preach. Come back. But you will only preach that which is in the new blood covenant. No more. No more. It is not mandatory that anyone does the Torah portions. They can read that on their off time. But what is going up on this ministry site for, for now on, on the Shabbat, is going to be teaching what is going to be saving and what does save the new blood covenant. That is a testimony of I, Yahushua HaMashiach. You are not revelator of revelations. You are not secret of the secret keepers. Oh, you're a secret keeper, all right. As you mocked your own wife and did all these things behind her back, teaching the Kabbalah even to men's Shabbat group. But you know what? I can forgive you. But you will weep and you will wail. You will mourn. And you will get with Sylvester. And you will say, can I do an interview with you? Will you lead me in the prayer of repentance? Will you tell me, if I don't know all the words to say, how to ask forgiveness from Abba Yahweh Yahushua and Imaya? The Ruach HaKadosh, will you please show me how to rebuke these enemies, these serpents, these snakes, these fallen angels that took my mind and manipulated it? You will hear this. And I give you this open invitation to my son, Sylvester, the one who's called his Elisheva Yahu a mother for over 15 years. You think you could turn him and her first spiritual daughter, Talia, away from their mother? He has been her microphone ever since the war on YouTube. For I forbid her to show her face, other than in a picture. I know, and I knew in 2009, I am the creator of time. I warned her, you already come under attack. Oh, well, one day your face will be on that video and people will burst into flames for everyone who dared to mock her. Spontaneous combustion. And the most evil, she's got the anointing. All she has to do is call it forth like Eliyahu of old. That's why I call her Eliyahu of new. And they shall burst into flames, just like it was. They thought the fire came from heaven. Oh, it did. But it was spontaneous combustion as the bodies burst into flames. Anyone can look it up, but there's no description. No one understands medically why this happens. Where even where just the shoes are left, but the body is gone. And I do not even allow Satan to copy that. That is my wrath. <laughs> Oh, my. You mockers. You scorners. You haters. You fallen angels. What are you going to do? When the flames of my wrath consume you. And I've already said, those who led him astray and took his mind and even divided him from his beloved wife and his calling for all, all the way. 2018, you really thought he had, you had control of his mind. He had learned to trust the once, ones who were once his spiritual children. And I speak of three women right now. Christina Gunther, Shane Yapu, and Tatiana Williams. 
I hate you for what you have done to this man's mind. And then all the men who joined in, backing each other up. At one time I spoke truth, and at one time I gave you visions to. At one time you had diaper salvation. Now I ripped your diaper off and expose you before all as feces are smeared in your face. I said there was going to be a Caleb of new. I, the God of creation, speak this now, Yahweh. There will be a Caleb of new. No good thing do I start without finishing it through the name and the blood of Yushal Mashiach on this earth. For I use that. I cannot use any person unless they are washed clean and living holy before me. And I have news for you, Arez Yotam Ezra Caleb. The Holy Spirit, the Ruach Kadesh, will not remain in an unclean vessel for long. You are on the countdown of our patience. And there is a countdown going on right now. A deadline for you to remain part of a Mighty Wind ministry. I've instructed her that you will come here on July 1st and no sign other than our old pages that she can't possibly clean them all up. It's three years worth of nothing but you and her. Even in the sinful state that you are in now. You'll not find anything on the front page. No more love songs. No more memories. Unless you scroll very far down and she hasn't got around yet to taking them off. And like I said, Ayave and Yushua and Imaya have already told her, you are going to be so busy with the new prophecies that are going to be feeding the sheep and the lambs. You will not be able to do and cleanse this ministry. And you're not supposed to because there was a Caleb here. He did stir up those anointing to be able to prophesy. And oh, if you don't come back quickly, every time millions of people all over the internet click on the prophecies in all different languages, because they've taken and put in their own languages that you know not of. The words you spoke before every prophecy that are underneath the anointing, and I speak to Ezra right now, Ezra, Caleb, for without the Caleb anointing, there wouldn't be an Ezra anointing. Servant of Yah. Yah's rod of wrath has come down on you. Yahushua's rod of wrath has come down on you. And the real Kakadashi Mayah's rod of wrath has come down on you. Why? You spoke it out of your own mouth. Power in the words. You say that prayer to protect her. And she did not even know what the head meant. The head of the, the husband will be the head of the wife. She did not even know. I had to tell her has nothing to do with the being a dictator. Every decision is supposed to be made with the husband and a wife together. Every holy husband will take it to prayer with her. Every major decision will go before the throne of heaven. And Yushua HaMashiach and through the anointing of the Rakh HaKadosh, you will hear the answer. You were the leader of all, to be all the prayer, of all the prayer coverings of this world. Of everyone who prays for her, you had that holy anointed husband's prayer covering. The head 
is all about protection, is all about the teaching. If you ever she was to go astray, you were the one. And I speak to every husband, holy husband now, who truly are washed in my shed blood, I Yahushua Mashiach. You're responsible for keeping that family on that narrow path to heaven, to be pleasing unto Ayahaveh. To prove how much you love me by obeying Ayahushua Mashiach. The Ten Laws. And yes, you are to also do the holy feasts that Ayahushua did, but that is not going to get you to heaven. Only through my name and my blood There is no other name but Ayushua Mashiach for three, year, for three hours I was on that cross. And for each and every name that is written in the Lamb's Book of Life flashed before my eyes and your faces of who you would be on this earth as I said this blood is for you. This blood is for you. This blood is for you. And I said, if it had only been one of you, I would have done it all over again. This blood is for you, whereas Yotam, Ezra Caleb, this blood is for you. Will you truly receive it? Will you admit you need deliverance of a legion of demons? Will you humble yourself? Will you decrease so I will increase in you? Will you walk in humility with a head lowered? I proved to Satan. I, Yushua HaMashiach, proved when everyone said, Your God is dead. And they mocked. And the disciples hid. But on the third day, I made it an open display. That I, Yahushua, am alive. And I, Yahushua, Mashiach, walked this earth for 40 days, but it was not just in Israel. I was all over the world doing more miracles than any book could ever hold. And I ascended back into heaven before the witnesses. And I said, where do I go? Those who belong to me shall go also. And I went to heaven to prepare a place for you. And the more persecuted and the more suffering that you have been through, for my name's sake, the greater the rewards that not only follow you to heaven, which are the souls that you have brought to me, but the rewards wait for you in heaven as I have prepared a dwelling place for you that no mansion on this earth could ever begin to compare. And you were to worship me in gratitude for the price I paid for each one of your names. That's how I bared and that's how I stayed alive for those three hours. This is a new revelation I speak forth out of Elisheva Eliyahu. The revelations that come forth out of this ring maiden of mine, that's going to be the voice that cries out, Yahushua's coming, Yahushua's coming. Her job is to prepare the bride of Yahushua. And there will be a Caleb that will be a Caleb of new. Because he will do it with a whole heart. And he will pray with her for the bride of Yahushua. And he is a ring bearer. Whoever is married to her is walking in holiness and righteousness and virtue with, and is vir virtuous before me. In the fear of Yahweh, having wisdom and wisdom is the Raka Kodesh. 
No, Donovan Todd. You serpent, you snake, you viper, you reptilian, you shapeshifters. All of you are. Even when I put the evidence of Christina Gunther in the forehead for all to see with the eye shifting to the left and the right and the mouth moving and pulsating in the forehead. You are not going to hide, you shapeshifters. The bride of Yushua Mashiach will pray, and they have been, that you are exposed. The Nephilim, all of these different, they're all fallen angels. Or they will be a hybrid. And just like in the times of old, they will have mated with a human woman. It's no different today. Just in the times of Noah. Noah was a righteous man and he could hear my voice. I am the one who gave him the instructions, the co-creators of this whole universe. Everything that is, everything that was, and everything that will be for all eternity. But those instructions were to build that ark and to bring which animals into it. And when the door closed and the mockers had mocked, they were the ones as the water rises and the, and the floods from heaven was poured forth. A flood of rain like you cannot even begin to imagine that flooded this earth. Everything in it but when they banged and screamed at that door, the reason why I sent that flood, they were not human DNA. The fallen angels had entered into every one of them. Why did I only choose just one? one of every kind, a male and a female, to enter into that ark. Here's another revelation. They were already genetically modified in a different way, for there was the creations of Satan that had intermingled with every animal, every insect, a copy of everything that we, the co-creators, the Holy Trinity, Satan mocks like he does now. One third that's on this earth right now are fallen angels. Everyone has encountered them and they think, oh, we only see the face of a human, but how could this human be so wicked? Even those who claim to be of Jesus Christ, they're wicked. fallen angels are inside remember what happens when the body dies that has a fallen angel in it that body goes to hell in the lake of fire with the exception of these that I have just named everyone that has done this there are as Yota, my Ezra, my Caleb those fallen angels will cease to exist except in the, a realm that none of you would understand. No one would understand. And really, it's beyond your compre comprehension if I would even try. But you see, the fallen angels know. And they know where the other fallen angels are chained up. And I know what my holy angels do to them and how they suffer and scream in agony. But those fallen angels who once were called Elisheva Eliyahu's spiritual children whom she mentored and who she brought to Ayahushua and who she poured her love out and yes, even finances of this ministry. You Judas and you know who you are. 
I don't need to name your name. What you have done. But you kissed that ring. And there's a price to pay for that. As a ring was put to your lips and you said, Oh no, I didn't know I did anything wrong. Now there's a price to pay. I'm not naming the name. That person will hear, and that person will trouble, and that person better shut its mouth. I say it because a fallen angel has entered into you, but you're human enough to know you better seal your lips and stop trying to destroy this ministry from within again. The fallen angel and that human frame. And you who dare, another one, you dare to write her and say, she should repent for the way that she has offended so many people and hurt so many people. You dare to touch my anointed prophet and do her harm? She loved you. Beware before a fallen angel enters in you and you are reprobate. And you, I speak to you now. Every one of you who are mockers and haters and only want to come here to get the entertainment. Reprobate Rob! You know who you are. You think I'm not going to say? It doesn't matter. Hell in a lake of fire! That's all you have looking forward to. No one will ever attack anyone who's truly holy, and not everyone who calls himself a prophet is a prophet. Where is the proof? She has got all of these proofs behind these prophecies. Even as to March 30th, 2019, in advance, she prophesied. Arez Yotam, prophet Ezra from Israel, your first prophecy is a lie. Repent. There'll be no three days and nights of darkness on, on April 19th, 2019. Don't do it. Stop. She had a calendar ripping pages off waiting for you, Arez. Waiting for you, Ezra. Waiting for you, Caleb. Stop, stop, stop. But you wouldn't stop. You could have. You know she's not a false prophet, but you'd rather listen to the serpent slides. Literally a tongue that was in your tongue. Picture a forked tongue that went into your mouth. Picture a forked tongue of a serpent, Ezra who kissed your lips and kissed your cheeks and what other parts have they kissed? You who think that you don't have to repent for any kind of sin because you're a god, today I have spoken forth. The god of creation have given you this final last warning. This is it. The last countdown of a timeline. Caleb of New is the one that I will embrace. And this is the final last thing I'm going to say. When you do return, only I know if you will. Only I know it, the eyes that watch this website and the men who pray to be her husband, to be the new Caleb. Only I know. They are waiting to see how this all plays out. They are waiting and praying when she finally gives up and she takes the page down. The way she has been begging and pleading for your soul to repent. And they all know that none will ever compare with the love that I have given her for you, or as Yotam, you as her Caleb, especially the Caleb of New. If you choose to walk in those shoes. They know that they are born and raised in Israel and they speak Hebrew. They know they can stir up the anointing within her. They really believe they know. I'm speaking what they think they know. They're constantly, constantly praying for her. 
they know she has no husband's holy anointed prayer covering. She has Yushua's demon stompers prayer covering. The sons and daughters all over the world in different languages. They want to be that new Caleb. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you, Erez Yotam, my Ezra, my Caleb. They're waiting for you to do nothing. Because that's your sign. You didn't go claim what was yours. What I had given you even in marriage. Before all the holy, holies of heaven. The holy of holies. Abraham himself beheld what was done in the spiritual realm on that Rosh Hashanah on October 2nd, 2016. No legal service in the face of this world could do what I had done when I joined you together in a holy, sanctified marriage without no lust involved at all. They wait. Are you going to claim what I gave you in marriage, Erez Yotam? Are you even going to claim, even before the marriage, the two anointings became one? What I had confirmed to you on the first time that you spoke together, that she was there when you were born, that was your own words that you spoke. When you spoke and you said what you believe, when she asked you, are you going to be another ship passing in the night? In other words, she was saying, are you going to be another one that, that lets me down? Betrays my trust? Abandons and forsakes me? Because I'm too holy for you? Because everything within me, I warn you, Everything that's in the Holy Trinity warns you. You have betrayed her. You have been a Judas to her. You have sold her out. And it wasn't even for 30 pieces of silver and you even tried to steal the Holy Trinity's ministry. And yet I, you should say, I gave her more love. I had to pour my love into her so she can say when you repent that she truly, truly can forgive. But then you have to confess the horrible sins that you have done in private. And she will be tested and you will pray that she can forgive you. I'm not going to say it's going to be easy for you because it is not. And it will not be easy for her ears to have to hear it. But the demons will flee when the secrets are gone. Those pictures that sicken her. And they sicken the Holy Trinity. And I don't mean sicken the world way that the world says sick. We're furious. We're furious at you. And yet through our fury, we still offer you one chance. One toe away from blasphemy as you've remained silent and not even given a mighty wind ministry even so much as a, a word of love back. As you have stayed silent all along until I have backed you in this corner this day. Ayahaveh have backed you in this corner this day and put a countdown of a deadline, of a timeline for you. What are you going to do, Caleb? What are you going to do, Ezra? When you decide, okay, now it's time and I've tested God enough, I've tested Yahweh, I've tested Yahushua, I've tested the Real Kakodesh enough. I'm going to stop leaning over hell until I see if you'll really knock me in. 
What are you going to do if you see another man there singing the love songs to her? Another man there prophesizing and covering her in a special way I once had you do, only he will be more anointed. What are you going to do when you see this man taking his hand and putting that butterfly in his hand? And even though she doesn't think that there's no way anyone could ever repair those butterfly wings, what if I give the anointing that once again he can? What are you going to do when you hear her dedication of love to this new man and this man to her? What are you going to do when you see the words co-leader next to his name? A man born and raised in Israel who will be the Judah to the Ephraim. Only the Judah will have none of the demons that you have now. What are you going to do? You are on a countdown of a deadline of a time. It's clicking down right now. She's already had a man come forth who has said that you're not going to make it. You're a narcissist and you're in more love with yourself than you could ever be in love with her or anyone, including Ayoshua. He's watching. What are you going to do? Oh. What are you going to do? That could be a punishment that I have reserved for you. Did you think about that? For what you have done to her for all seven months of silence? And what you have done? Allow people to call death on my beloved one? I'm not going to say whether it'll happen or not. What I will say, the old Caleb will not do. The old Caleb allowed all of this. That's why in her tongue now, it's just a little Caleb in Hebrew. I'm calling forth right now. When this countdown goes down, if a res Yotam Ezra Caleb does not rise up, is a Caleb of new with a repenting video far before that deadline. Call forth the Caleb. And I will not have to take the name Caleb out of her mouth, for it means whole heart. And you will come with your whole heart. You will offer it. I call you forth from the north, the south, and the east, and the west. Call you forth if this man doesn't step up and become the Caleb of New. I call you forth right now. Oh, you shall reach Israel with her. Put it in the good thing that we have started, so that we will finish. And we'll not even take the name Caleb out of the tongue, for he will remember that he once was one, the one who was chosen. And you will be the Caleb of new. And she will not have to change very many words, except for the face of a picture. And prophecies that are sealed now will be able to be unsealed. And there will be a celebration of the new male leader for seven days. I will undo 
Every blessing that I have given you, Erez Yotam, Ezra Caleb, you see, this is not the twisting tongue of a serpent. This is the voice that's coming from the true heaven, and you know it! You recognize it, and you with your own hand scribed it. And you considered them all different kind of jewels, every prophecy. Until the serpent's tongues got a hold of you and you no longer wanted to accept any kind of rebuke. Why would you do that? Why would you listen to her prophecies? Dad, stay away from her. She's not going to tell you're a god. She's not going to tell you. We had to stay in diapers when she was there. We only could have diaper salvation. We were not told that we were generals in heaven and we are all gods. I'll tell you the last thing. This m m new Caleb of new, if that's what you force me to do, and I already know what you will do, so don't forget that. He will love we, the Holy Trinity. He will be honored to preach the new blood covenant, the true gospel of Ayahuasca Hamashiach. He will bring, help her bring more souls all over the world as this ministry has been pruned before everyone's eyes. And she says, ask on Shavuot, what is going on? I know this ministry has brought you millions of souls. There's a video of three hours and three more hours to come. And there's not enough hours in a day for the people to do videos or to write and say how much this ministry means to them and how, they brought, how this ministry was used to bring them to me and teach them holiness and no compromise to sin, and how the prophecies they have known have come from heaven. He will love with a whole heart a mighty wind congregation. In all the different branches of the ministry, he will be honored to be able to minister to them, to introduce himself to them. He will be honored to love her with a whole heart that you would refuse to ever give her. It's up to you. I'll tell you this though. You will never be known as Prophet Ezra from Israel. You will never be known ever again with the name Ezra other than what's in the older pages that's already there. And ahead of the prophecies, when you really were carrying the Caleb anointing, you had told Sylvester, behold, behold, you see all the cattle on the hills in the bride sanctuaries? They're all, all I'm going to be in control of. And Sylvester looked at you in horror. This is one, this, this, this was to be your beloved son. He loved you as a dad. This is the one Elisheva has called her son for over 15 years. And he's been loyal and faithful to her. And been her microphone. Sylvester, I give you a shout out. Talia, I give you a shout out before the whole world how faithful you have been. And great, great, great are your blessings waiting for you in heaven, for you ask nothing in return. The sacrifices that you have made, even for this man. You'll never again. Carry the name, the title, Apostle, Prophet, Ezra. No, no more Apostle, no more Prophet. Not, nowhere are you going to be known as a Prophet 
in that mortal body. I, Yahushua, decree you will have a humbling name that is covered in humility. And you're not going to be ashamed of your testimony, how far you had to fall to rise up on your feet again and put your hands up and learn how to say, I'm sorry. And you will have a testimony that is worthy to be found in that book that is going to reach Israel for a Jew has spoken forth and given the glory of delivering, forgiving, healing, resurrection power. In my name, Yahushua HaMashiach. And a great harvest of souls shall come forth all over Israel. For you will not worry about whether or not your Hebrew is good enough. You will work to put those prophecies into Hebrew. And you will speak them forth if you walk as Yahushua's come back kid from Israel, for that is a title that I will have you wear. That is a humbleness and that is a humility that you will wear. For it will be a great miracle and a great journey, but take Elisheva's hand and together you shall climb that mountain together with me leading you forward as both of you take my hand. It will be a comeback from one toe away from blasphemy. It will be a comeback for Elisheva to ever, ever to trust you like she did before. Not just as a husband, but even as a friend or a best friend. You have to work at it. You defiled the word love. You defiled the word marriage. You defiled the word marriage covenant ring. It's not nothing that the blood of Yahushua cannot cleanse. And it, you will have a comeback if you choose it. In every job on this earth, I have always promoted you to the top. Even as a surgeon, people could not understand how did you work with one of the top surgeons that operated on five of the presidents? How? You never even went to medical school. How is that possible? Because I, Yahweh, decreed it. We, the Holy Trinity, can pour so much love into you. I, Yahushua HaMashiach, can go to her in person when you are worthy of trust. You see, I've given her the love, but it's you. It's you have to show that you are trustworthy again when you betrayed her in every way. And you know what I speak of. You don't need to worry about blackmail. You don't need to worry. Believe me, when they hear this prophecy and the fallen angels know what they're coming for, for, for what I'm going to do to them. And, oh, but they already know. I, you don't need to have human words. They already know. What the Holy Trinity means. What is the worst punishment a fallen angel can receive? And they're going to get far worse than even the fallen angels now chained. Because they separated with I, Yahweh, and I, Yahushua Mashiach, and I, the Ruach HaKadosh, decreed as one and put the marriage together as one, a marriage in love like none other. with absolutely nothing to do with lust. It was the anointing that joined you together. 
But remember this. Yahush was come back kid from Israel. You will be more greatly anointed than you could ever dream possible. You will love with a whole heart and not hold anything back just to see what you can get for yourself. You will never use her for money again. Even a worldly job you will seek. You are not going up as a co-leader until she can trust you as a husband. And I, Yahushua Hamashiach, will go to her in person and tell you, as she's already beheld my face and she's already heard my voice, and I will say, trust your husband, Caleb of New. In fact, that's going to be your last name should you choose to return. It's going to be called Caleb A -new. A -N -E -W. Take it or leave it. Ayushua, Hamashiach, I, Abba Yahweh, and I, the Rakh HaKadash, have spoken forth. Out of this apostle, this prophet, this ring maiden, the one of the bride of Yeshua Hamashiach, this day. It is better off for those who do not want to receive it. Do not, do not, do not speak against what I have spoken this day. On June 20th, 2019, on a Thursday, so it has been spoken and so it will be written. And every word has been spoken from heaven. And woe unto the mockers and woe unto the scoffers and woe unto the haters. You have just dug your own level of hell which you will descend. It is better off that you had just run now. Cover your mouth and run off the internet. Sabarina Catanoyan Catamakilla Catanoyan Catabaki, Arina Catavoyan Catarina Catarina Catamacoyan Catamakilla Cata, Honor Catamakilla Catarina Cat, Honor Catamayan Catarina Catarina Cata, my Elisheva Eliyahu, Sokoyan Catamakilla Cata, Arina Catoyan Cata. Oh, yes, you've been pruned, Sokoyan and Catabay, and yes, this ministry's been pruned, Sokoyan and Catamakilla, but it's only to bear forth more fruit, Sokoyan and Cata, more millions and millions of millions of souls shall come to I, Yahushua, Sokoyan and Catamakilla Catanoa and Catamaki, Arina Catamokoyan and Cata, and it's only through your eyes that this tree of righteousness that has been pruned is ugly it is the most beautiful fruit that we the holy trinity have beheld as you have obeyed and done everything we have told you to do and all the workers who work by your side all the true Yahushua's demons Stompers who will not betray who will work to be the bride of you this is also a blessing that I give so at this time that it was to be a celebration the birth of Yahushua's demon stompers the prayer intercessors around this world but only a small select group of the confidential ones that she's been 
turning to. But you who have covered it in prayer, have said whatever Eliyahu needs, please meet her needs. And great, great shall be your blessings for doing this. As you have covered her, whereas Yotam, Ezra, Caleb has not, for he is not yet returned to me, Yahushua, Mashiach, and lightness and darkness had not go together until he comes out of the darkness. And I have already spoken, and I it is, will be written, everything that is in this prophecy shall come to pass. But I do tell you this. Ezra, Caleb, the one way you did not fail me. And this is a personal note that's going beyond under the prophecy. You would not speak a word publicly in a video of hate towards her or this ministry. You refused. If you had, they wanted you to cross over the blasphemy line. A fallen angel was ready for you. That's the plan they had for you. And if that didn't work, they already planned your death. Now, how long will you stay there? What is the value of your life and your soul? As you know, the summer solstice approaches. A time for the occult to do the burning of holy sacrifices. And when I say a holy sacrifice, the best sacrifice that Satan thinks so is, is someone who is anointed, somebody who is holy, someone who belongs to Ayosha Meshach. But right now they know you've not, they've kept you from doing it and you've not returned to her. And they've threatened you and they warned you do not return to her. Do not return to a mighty wind ministry. And Donovan Todd threatens to break his relationship up with you. You better hope it breaks up, Erez Yotam. You are linked with Satan. Every rod and every ring and that of your mother's jewelry you will collect and you will leave and that check will be signed back over to you and you will, you, Stephen William Rossi, if you so dared deny all of you had better run all of you had better hide for you Stephen William Rossi I once gave the name to Ella Sheva to call your new blogs heavenly manna I had anointed you as a prayer warrior. And now you serve Satan. Now you dare to threaten nothing but death and destruction. We will kill you. I will kill you. Oh, I'm a home. Oh. Oh, the torture all of you have waiting. Everyone, everyone who has anything to do with separating what I, Yahweh, Yushua, and Ima Yaruka Gadesh has put together. Everyone, everyone who's dared even financially supported him in any way, and that goes for the Yotam family. You had better repent. And you had better remember the Torah. Even when you knew he was a false prophet, even when you knew he's not a god, none of you told him to repent. None of you. Why? Because you have the same blood, same name of a Yotam. And you have rejected Elisheva, Eliyahu, who he told you was a disobedient, 
unsubmissive wife. And oh, Israela, you think you know the reason why? Until she told you the truth on Mother's Day over a phone call? And you said you'd write her back, but you never did. She kept her promise. You also are welcome to run into my arms. Ayushua Hamashiach. I will cleanse you with my blood. Your name can be found written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And only I know if it's already there. It is not true what the Orthodox Jews believe that on Yom Kippur the name is blotted out or the name is added. It's not true. The decision was already made before the foundation of the earth and now I add this for the last time. So it will be written on this June 20th, 2019. Spoken forth out of my beloved handmaiden, ring maiden, Elisheva Eliyahu. And this is a countdown at the end of the prophecy. Ten days, 14 hours, zero minutes, 45 seconds. You have been injected again with the forked tongue of the serpent. For you to dare call yourself Mordecai of New. For you to dare believe that you are Mordecai of New. Did you not teach Elisheva that Mordecai was representing the Holy Spirit? Who are you, O oh man of sins, to dare call yourself the Holy Spirit? Enough said. Repent. Get back in the arms of you, Shohamashiach, before it's too late and drenched and submerged. In the only saving blood of Yushua Hamashiach, you cannot even come before my throne in repentance without the name and the blood of Yushua Hamashiach. You can never believe again that you only need to rebuke Satan one time. And you are going to come out of an agreement with Satan. How he laughs and mocks at you when you go. Satan, y'all rebuke you. He laughed at you. He laughs at you. Is this what you want? He will mock you for all eternity. If you do not come out of agreement with the things that you have believed. It's only through the name and the blood of I, Yahushua Hamashiach, that there's anyone who can be delivered. And submit yourself to I, Yahushua Hamashiach, the Lord God Almighty, and then you resist the devil and he shall flee. Where has been the obedience in you in any way? Where has it been? Oh, what you have done, Mordecai. You believe you were Mordecai? Mordecai was a holy man. No one is worthy on this earth to call themselves the Mordecai of New. You let a forked serpent Fallen angel's tongue enter into your own throat. And you 
believed lies from the father of all lies. I'm exposing you now. Again, I repeat. When Donovan Todd threatens to break the relationship with you, you better turn to him real quick today after you hear the word. For if it's not today, whenever you hear it, and it shall be quickly done, so you're not held accountable, and you will not come out again like you did in Israel with a whale goop all over you, as you said. You have no relationship with Satan. I know what sin you have in common. Don't you see how far you have fallen when you were told you could not sin, that you are a god, that anything goes? I'll not repeat it in public. I will repeat it in private with Elisheva. And you will confess. And no secret shall you keep, or I'm warning you now. You so much as tell a lie to her again. I will only leave your shoes behind. A spontaneous combustion, the wrath of Yahweh, will consume you. Enough said. I, Abba Yahweh, I, Yushua Hamashiach, and I, the Real Kakadash, has spoken forth this word. And so it is spoken and so is decreed in heaven. Come home, Caleb, Caleb, won't you come home, Caleb, Caleb, everybody's waiting, waiting, won't you come home, Caleb, Caleb, come home. Now tell me what you see right here, the stuff in the mule with mighty care, the pride consumes so Street. We had a mighty 